How's it going everybody? Welcome to the video. I hope you enjoyed the first ride on the KTM. In today's video we're going to be continuing exploring some new trails starting off with some hill climbs. There's actually a lot of hill climbs in today's video so I hope you all enjoy and if you stick around long enough you'll get to see me yard sale my new KTM but I won't say too much. Grab you something to eat, drink, and sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Man, wild dogs. Oh no, there's turkeys. There's some turkeys over there. I really just said wild dogs. <laughs> Fun climbs here. you're contributing to the problem here. Yeah. <laughs> so supposedly we're coming up on an abandoned car right now. It's been here a long time. No, well, that's not it. Like somebody's camping out there. Good line, Bryce. When Dustin gives you the fingers to come here. Might be a mistake. Yeah, there's a bunch of ways to go up. Well, this one, you can look at it. This one, there's one over there. Uh, so get a look at it. Uh, if you do go up this one, that walk will fit you. It kind of makes it react funny, but this other one will eat you. Yeah. Off when you get to the top. All right. that would not have happened dude when I thought I didn't have enough this thing kept pulling that was amazing oh my god Dustin you're a nut oh I gotta climb that I'm good. I had that too. Thank you. I had that. Ah, thank you. I should get it. Yeah. 
I'm not in a good spot. Ah, perfect, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Second? That's what I do it is, yeah. but your transmission is wider. Yeah. So, whatever you think, man, second what I do it is. <laughs> I want to get that one. Yeah. He was trying too hard down there. You know, instead of just trying to carry his momentum to get to the base of the hill. Yeah, I'm good. I stay on the seat. Once you pass this big rock in here, yeah. I stay on the seat to get to get that. You know, this guy. Yeah. I just got lucky the way I landed. Your brain working. My bike, my bike, my bike. <laughs> oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. We're about to subframe. Yeah, that would be sick. Yeah. Good stuff.
Oh my gosh, I'm super glad I did that. Definitely get inside my head too much. I think 99% of the time, if I just didn't think about it, looked and went, I would be fine, man. But I get stuck in my head sometimes, and the more you think about stuff, I tend to not do as well. So just send it, honestly. But thank God I was all good after that crash. Saved the bike. <laughs> and yeah, man, that's why I love riding with these guys. Always pushing me and giving me tips, and it's really awesome. Check this out. I feel like we're in spin tires. So the biggest thing I learned today about this machine is you do not need to give it a lot of power. Like on these hill climbs, just being very tame with the throttle and just making sure you don't break loose, that is the key. And thankfully this bike has the capability to do that. It's awesome. That's when you hear that lugging word. I mean, that's all it is. You just, you just can lug this thing like nothing. And just bop his tractors up stuff. Absolutely outstanding machine for sure. hell <laughs> oh yeah I smell it Caves down there? Yeah. Sweet. Can you actually ride in it? Yeah. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video, but I wanted to flash back to this crash and kind of walk you through it and why I was struggling so much with this hill climb. So right here, you can see this large rock and every time I would come up to it, I would lose all my momentum and it seemed like my back end was getting kicked up. I think I tried it like three or four times before the main crash, but every time I got up to that rock, I seemed to lose all my momentum, and I was focusing too much on that first section because that first little bit was a climb in itself, then it kind of mellowed out, and then it was that big climb at the top. So I was trying to sit down pretty much the whole way to maintain traction, but what I should have done is in that beginning portion, stood up a little bit so I didn't get bucked around towards that rock, and then after I cleared that, I should have sat down, gave it some throttle, and carried some momentum up the top, which is what I did in the end here, and it allowed me to make it all the way to third base. I just wanted to put this little last section in here to hopefully provide some value to some of you. So if you'd like to hear more of these breakdowns in the future, let me know. Also to stop the front end from coming up here, I should have feathered the clutch a little bit more. Live and learn. But the ride isn't over yet, so make sure you come back tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow at 7.